Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. I know there's been a gap of about five months from my last tutorial, but that's because I've had personal issues that I've had to sort out. And now I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for you today. And just to let you know that there will be more tutorials to come soon. I've just not had the time at the moment, but now I'm back on track and obviously more videos will be coming as quick as I can get them up. Now, for the tutorial today, most people or a lot of experienced people with computing will know how to do this or they might not need to do this because they will have the original Windows OS, meaning the operating system disk. This is for you guys that go out and buy laptops, computers with the operating system, whether it be Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP. Uh, they're all now sort of preloaded with the operating system and you don't get the disk with your purchase anymore. So the one I'm going to show you today is for the new one which is Windows 7 which is what I have here. And basically what we're going to do is create a restore image and files and bits and pieces basically for if you do have a, an issue with your operating system. So what I'm going to do is, this is in Windows 7 as I say, I'm going to click on start and we're going to go to all programs and we're going to click on maintenance and in maintenance we'll see a create system repair disk. And as you'll see, it's a system repair disk, can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools that can help recover your Windows from a serious error or restore your computer from a system image. Now basically what you do is, as you'll see, it says about inserting a disk. So you need to have a DVD. I would recommend a DVD. Obviously a CD would be too small. Um, have a DVD, insert that into your drive and once that's inserted, wait for it to load, let it do what it has to do and then you just basically click create disk. Now mine will come up with an error just for the fact that I have no disk in there but I'm just going to show you what basically happens. You'll see it prepares files, a system disk could not be created that's just because there's no media in the device, meaning I have no disk in the drive. So okay, but basically if you had a disk in the drive, it would prepare all the files and then it would burn all of that image to the DVD. Then once that's done, you keep that in a folder or anywhere safe that you can get to. And if you do have any problems with your operating system, you literally put a disk in, you boot up your computer, and then you can either go into your sorry, you can either go into your menu to boot from DVD drive first, where most computers do actually boot from the CD drive first or DVD drive, but you can have the option to change it to change from DVD to say hard drive um, but yeah that's it you just basically pop the disk in boot up from the disk drive and then it will run itself its own little program and then you'll see all your options from there and it will just basically ask if you want to restore if you want to fix errors repair from an image that you've made anything like that basically so I hope that helps and it's just a way to save you a little bit of money because if you do have a problem it means then you've got to take it to a shop just for them to use their disk whereas you can actually make a disk and have all your well most of your problems sorted I won't say all because not all problems are solved using this method obviously there are so many errors that you can have on a computer so many ways that a computer can go wrong so don't just rely on this, but this is one way to back up just in case you do have any problems with Windows actually loading when you turn your computer on. So as I say, 
um, more more tutorials will be coming soon and obviously now the good thing is YouTube is now allowing 15 minutes per video for people that are not partnered so so more videos as I say will be coming and I just want to say I'm very happy to everyone that's been f viewing my videos I'm now over 10,000 video views and I'm nearly up to 2,000 channel views and I'm hoping obviously it will increase as time goes on so if you do like my videos please do subscribe but it's not beneficial for you to do so it's just nice to know that people are watching and then subscribing so then I know when I do have more videos up they can easily see and it will alert them and yeah so just a big thank you to everyone and I'll have more videos up soon cheers guys see you later